If you wish to live long in the memory of men, you should not write for them at all. You should write what their children will enjoy. This is what American author Clifton Fadiman said about the formula for a classic book. And while the definition of what makes a classic is a well-debated topic, here are a few things that we consider important. Your kids will read it, you read it, and so did your parents. Generations of readers will enjoy a classic. Think of books like Wind in the Willows. Was written in the past and represents the time period in which it was written, but manages to show that the human condition never changes. Charles Dickens, anyone? From Shakespeare to Anne Frank, whether they want to or not, students in high school and university learn to love these stories. Readers of all kinds can enjoy a classic because they usually contain universal themes of life. For example, Salinger's Holden Caulfield coming of age in The Catcher in the Rye. Has to be read carefully and studied in order to gain a full understanding. Appreciation that can evolve and change. Jane Austen's books are a good example. Orwellian, Catch-22, or Passing the Conch, classic books are used in modern culture through phrases, films, and ideals. It teaches a moral or value and is not purely written for entertainment. For example, in Madame Bovary, a novel about romance, the reader learns to be happy with what you have. From Hemingway's simple and direct writing to Fitzgerald's descriptive, layered, and vivid prose, a classic uses language that is beautiful, effective, and distinctive. What are your favorite classics and why? Please tell us in the comments below.